So I was watching that first James Bond film the other night. You know the one with the scene at the beginning where Ursula Andress comes out the sea singing underneath the mango tree, me honey? Anyway, let's get on with the review. Yeah, it's got a ukulele review day again. Uh, this is your summary video review, linked below. Every video is a link to the detailed review on the website where you'll see better photographs and the scores. Uh, as I always say, got a ukulele is not affiliated financially with the brands or the stores, so does rely on people generously getting involved and donating. Thanks so much to monthly Patreons. There's some thank yous running across the bottom of the screen there for some new contributions. And why not think about subscribing to the Got a Ukulele YouTube channel? Hit the button down there uh, and the little bell symbol, and you will be notified of new stuff as it comes along. Okay, it's not that long ago I featured this brand, uh, and it was also a store exclusive. The last one I looked at was the Canalea SUST, exclusive to Southern Ukulele Store, and a bit of a departure for Canalea because it's not made of koa, uh, Alaskan rainbow cedar on the top, and it scored really, really well. Alex at Southern Ukulele Store subsequently worked with Canalea to develop another model, which is exclusive to the store. Uh, it's a range of models, actually, uh, in concert, tenor and baritone. This one's the tenor. This is the Manaco T from Kanalea, made in Hawaii, exclusive to the Southern Ukulele store. Um, yeah, mango, curly mango to be precise, and that's what this is. Solid curly mango in the body, top, back and sides, two pieces on each. I sometimes moan about mango, and that's because it does have this darker wood grain effect going on with it, and if it's not book matched properly, they can look really kind of off balanced, um, you know, dark on one side, clean on the other. This is kind of layer, I didn't need to, to worry about that. They know how to put an instrument together and make it look nice. This is beautifully bookmatched, as you can see. Really nicely bookmatched, top, back and sides. The sides are stunning. The curl in there, it's almost like burl walnut you'd see on the dashboard of, a, of an old vintage car. It's absolutely beautiful. All solid mahogany, traditional kind of layer, body shape. Stunning, I love this brand. The bridge is made of ebony, the usual Canalea style, pin bridge, new bone compensated top saddle, string spacing down there, 44 millimeters. Uh, all the dimensions on this are the same as other Canalea tenors, surprisingly. Um, it's finished in the um, famous UV cured gloss that Canalea use, which is about one of the best mirror finish glosses you will see on a ukulele. It is absolutely stunning. Not a flaw on it anywhere. Uh, inside that same True R uh, bracing, which I think I can just about show you there, uh, which is the honeycomb top braces up here, vertical braces on the lower bout, the kerfing is notched and reversed on the inside so you don't see the notches, all really, really tidy, not an inch of mess. The neck, nice, finished in satin, made from South American mahogany in one piece, uh, lovely shaping down there at the heel as always and it's a really comfortable neck because it's not got a far eastern broom handle back to it it's got a flattened profile up here at the nut uh, it is 38 mil at the nut and 29 g2a as i say standard standard dimensions for a canalea tenor topping that is a ebony fingerboard which is really nice and dark the position markers are made of maple and they are offset dots at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th, 12th and 15th, the 12th being a bit larger. And you also get the Manaco logo there um, inlaid in a sort of yellowy resin around the 12th. My first gripe about the instrument, and it's purely a subjective one, and that's that I don't like logos in odd places, and I think it's in an odd place. Otherwise, though, that's not edge bound. You do get side dots as well. The frets, obviously, 19 of them, 14 to the body, absolutely no sharp edges. A, a typically amazingly comfortable Canalea neck, which I think are one of the best things about them. Beyond the nut, new bone, is another main event. It's a slot head with a flat top. On the concert, you get the Canalea crown top. Uh, but on this and the baritone, you get the flat top, and I think this looks much better. The Canalea logo inlaid there in more curly mango. Uh, you'll notice it's really rather thin for a slot head, and the reason it's thin is because of these tuners. 
These are Goto ST31 Stealth Tuners made in Japan. They are amazing. <laughs> I absolutely love them. Because they're so slim, you can make the headstock slim. You can use these as regular tuners as well and embed them in the back of the headstock, they're so small. Um, Tulip-shaped buttons, a micro gear inside there on an 18 to one ratio. They are really, really precise, really, really um, positive to use. I absolutely love them. Finishing it off, these are uh, SUS, uh, sourced strings that they're going to start selling next year. It's fishing line Sigua with a wound low G. I wouldn't take the wound low G myself, that's just personal choice, um, but that's what they are. And you also get the same sort of excellent branded padded gig bag with that wonderful um, pink velour inside that comes with the SUST. Um, a really, really nice gig bag with straps and all sorts going on with it. Really like that. Um, this is a lot more appointed. Oh, do you know what? There's something I forgot to mention to you. I didn't show you, did I? On the lower bout, you probably can't see it, but there is a comfort edge here. And the reason you can't really see it is because it's done in the same uh, curly mango. And I really like that because a lot of comfort edges look like it's a repair job on a dinged ukulele. This is so subtle you can't see it, but it really works. It's really smooth. The edges on kind of layers are always chamfered off anyway, but this just adds a little bit more chamfering on this lower back top edge for the forearm. That's really nice. Okay, as I say, there's a lot more going on with this. Curly Mango is a lot more expensive as a wood. There's a lot of appointments and inlays, those tuners. So the price goes up quite considerably because the list for this at Southern Ukulele Store is 1999 for the tenor. That's a serious instrument price, but it's a serious ukulele price. It's up there with the sort of deluxe level Kanalea tenors from Hawaii. This is made in Hawaii, of course. Um, yeah, it's going to be too rich for a lot of people, but if you're in the market for a top end instrument, this is the sort of money that people will pay for ukuleles. So I'm not totally foxed by it, but it is expensive. Um, it's really light, as they always are. It's actually a little bit lighter than the SUST by five grams, 605 grams. Really nicely balanced. Wonderful finish to the gloss, which isn't sticky, but either way, you've still got a satin neck anyway. Um, the build quality kind of layer, pretty much, well, it is, it's perfect. I can't find anything wrong with it. I can't find anything wrong with the finish. I absolutely love the look of this wood. Uh, I don't like the, the logo here, but I love the offset um, dots. The headstock is sublime, as are those tuners. But we need to have a play. As I say, now, this is where it gets a bit difficult. A, I, I'm not good enough a player to do this justice. Uh, this is a really, really serious instrument with a really complex tone. Um, I also don't like low Gs that are wound on, on ukulele. Uh, so I've got to try and put that out of my mind when I'm giving you my verdict. The volume, great. As you can hear, obviously there's compression and this is a recording. The sustain, oh, the whole thing is vibrating in my arms. Really goes on. Obviously there's a lot of deep tones there because that low G, but that high first string, it's still really coming through. All those notes are really clear. Compared to the SUST, which a lot of people will ask me, and I'm, I don't have here because it needed to be sold, it went back to Bournemouth. I think that's got a crisper, brighter tone to it. This is much richer, much mellower, and that's the mango doing that. But it's just harmonizing with itself. It's so complex. And I say in the review that this is a ukulele that is really making me listen to it when I play it, which seems like a silly statement to make, but that's because I'm finding new things in the sound.
going on. Ooh, lovely, lovely. Um, as with most carol airs, I think it's better as a picked instrument. justice this is a terrific sounding instrument really really sort of laid back um that doesn't mean quite uh, just sort of groovy sound to it. it the complexity in the mids you've got the highs you've got the lows but the complexity in the middle is just every time i play it i hear something slightly different um it plays wonderfully it's obviously set up really well it's obviously really accurate it's a kind of layer um there's really not much I don't like about this. This gets an absolutely terrific score because it's an absolutely terrific instrument and they make t-shirts too. <laughs> that didn't sway me. I mean, if I have to be paid off to say an instrument that's this good is this good, it take, doesn't need a t-shirt for me to do that. Uh, the Canalea Manaco T made exclusively in conjunction with Alex at Southern Ukulele Store. It's his range. Um, they're the only place that you're going to be able to get one of these. And before those people in the USA say, but that's not fair, you're reviewing UK-based instruments. This is made in America. Southern Ukulele Store will ship this to you around the world for free. Um, I think it's an absolute belter. Absolute belter. I've absolutely loved looking at this. And I just want to keep showing you close-ups of the wood because... <sighs> Oh, what a gorgeous instrument. Manaco T, I need to shut up. I, don't know, I keep going on and on and on, and that's because I've loved looking at this one. Thanks very much to Southern Ukulele Store for trusting me uh, with something this valuable. Um, yeah, wonderful. Back next week. I uh, don't know what I've got next week. Do I know what I've got next week? No, I don't. Anyway, you know how it goes. I'll see you next week. I've got something coming. And enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.